Well, one of the strongest, most impressive, most lucrative streaks came to an end last night as I had won six straight closeout games in all major sports, college and pro football, college and pro basketball, Major League Baseball, and NHL hockey. Last night, as advertised, I used Alabama to try to beat Clemson. Obviously, that did not happen. Now, I truly believe in my ball sack, in my heart, and on my kid's eyes that if Bo Scarborough does not break his leg, we win that game. Because as you saw, Deshaun Watson dissected our defense, tired our defense down, and it's the only excuse for Alabama allowing 21 points in the fourth quarter. Think about that. They don't allow 21 points normally in a game, but in the fourth quarter, in the biggest game of most of the seniors' careers, they get lit up like a Christmas tree. And again, did the firing of Lane Kiffin or not allowing Lane Kiffin to end his career on a winning note with Alabama have something to do with the loss? Absolutely. Make no mistake about it. When Steve Sarkeesian, and although he's brilliant, and although he ran a pretty solid offensive scheme, when he lost Bo Scarborough, he was scrambling. He legit was scrambling, and they could not complete a pass, and they could not complete a third down. And uncharacteristically of Alabama, they did not run the ball in the fourth quarter and have the clock go tick-tock, 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 and have their epic defense win the championship. Instead, Watson, who will be a first-round pick, who I think will be a tremendous pro, lit them up like a Christmas tree, almost like a video game. 21 points, Alabama allowing in one quarter, is an aberration. That's never happened, and it'll never happen again. And Nick Saban, helplessly on the sideline, looked lost. And he had that angry face on, but he could do absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. So I take my hat off to Clemson. They're the national champion. Did not see it happening. Matter of fact, I underestimated them against Ohio State and got my fucking teeth kicked again. Probably should have learned from that experience. But I really thought Alabama was going to be able to run the ball, play pressure defense, and bend but don't break. But they broke. And now they lost the championship. And also, we got our fucking teeth kicked, and I've lost millions and millions of dollars last night. It was rough. It was really a rough loss. No issue about it. No two ways about it. And again, how you deal with losing is equally as important as how you deal with winning. In the business I'm in, where people trust me with their lives, trust me with their money, trust me with their future, trust me with their bankroll, I do not take it lightly. There's the biggest betters in the world, trust me. So when I say we went down for millions of dollars last night, it was legit. And it was a tough loss. And I don't take it lightly, and I never shrug it off. But again, how you deal with losing is equally as important as how you deal with winning. I haven't lost that closeout game in so long that it's raw. It's like someone ripped my fucking heart out. It's like someone kicked me in the balls, whipped out their dick, and pissed down my fucking throat. I hate it. I really fucking hate it. So what I'm going to do right now, I take a deep breath, I worked all night, I have not slept, and the only thing I could do today is go 6-0, 6-0, 6-0 in college and pro basketball. And I also put a pencil to the game of my career on Sunday, which will be the winner of the Green Bay Packers, Dallas Cowboys, the premium game, the marquee game, the game that the NFL is leading with on Sunday afternoon. And I'll tell you right now, we're going to have millions of dollars on Green Bay Dallas. We're going to win Green Bay Dallas. This is my one and only 50 times your top play game of my career. And you can buy it right now for only $10,000 at StuFinder.com. StuFinder.com, StuFinder.com. We've already put worldwide millions of dollars on this game. All my clients have a lot of confidence in me. They know off a loss, I'm lethal. Off a loss, I come back strong. And we have a lot of money to make up, but we have a lot of money to make tonight. So first of all, pay me for Green Bay Dallas, only $10,000.
only $10,000, only $10,000 at StuFinder.com, StuFinder.com, StuFinder.com. Plus, I'm selling three NBA best bets tonight, a best bet and two secondary best bets, a 3-0 and sweep, college basketball, a best bet and two secondary best bets, both respectively for $250 each. You pay me a nickel today and you go 6-0 and in basketball. On the free pick phone right now, I'm giving you an NBA best bet and a college basketball best bet absolutely free. Yesterday is advertised, hitting the over in the national championship game, which meant absolutely nothing. When you give out a free pick, it means nothing. And the over in Alabama Clemson, which was stealing money, meant absolutely nothing. But again, today, we go 2-0 and on the free pick phone, an NBA best bet, a college basketball best bet, at 800-982-2211, 800-982-2211. I equate losing a closeout game like somebody dying in my family, losing a lost soul, losing a girlfriend, someone breaking up with you, and it really fucking hurts, and it hurts deep, and it never goes away. It's never going away. It does not go away. But it just fuels my juices, my competitive juices. And I'm telling you right now, I'm ready to have the biggest week of my life, of my career. So you know what I would do if I was you? If you followed me yesterday and you get your teeth kicked, you get right on board with me today. You pay me today, I'll make you money. You pay me today, I'll save you money. There's a reason that I won six straight closeout games. There's a reason that last year in this championship game, I gave you Alabama on a money line and Clemson plus the points. There's a reason I gave you the Denver Broncos pissing on the Carolina Panthers plus points, money line, under the total, parlay it up, and Von Miller at 25-1 to 1 to win the MVP, and he did. There's a reason I told you Villanova would win the national championship and piss on North Carolina, and they did in an epic game. There's a reason I told you the Cleveland Cavaliers even down 3-1. We're going to win the NBA championship and piss on the Golden State Warriors, and they did. There's a reason I told you that Sidney Crosby and the Pittsburgh Penguins were going to win the Stanley Cup, and they did. And there's a reason I told you the Chicago Cubs were going to win the World Series, and I did not flinch. And I doubled down, tripled down, quadrupled down when the Indians had a stranglehold on them down 3-1. Down 3-1. I never flinched. I told you the Cubs were going to win the World Series, and they did. So again, I have a 40-year track record of winning. I have six straight closeout games in college and pro football, college and pro basketball, Major League Baseball, and NHL hockey to hang on my mantle. But again, we're coming off a monster loss. I don't take it lightly. I appreciate the confidence and the trust that everybody has with me. I appreciate all the emails and all the personal calls of people saying, Stu, keep your head high, because it means a lot. It means a lot, because everyone loves you when you're winning. Everybody loves you when everything's fucking great. But the true test of a man's character and a true test of people who love them is when you're down, what happens then? Well, how about I got over 700 emails saying, Stu, we love you, you're the best. How about I got over 105 phone calls personally saying, Stu, don't worry about it, let's rock and roll. So again, here's what we're gonna do today. College basketball, three and up. NBA basketball, three and up. And on the free pick phone, I got an NBA and college basketball best bet on a recorded message, 800-982-2211, 800-982-2211. And prepare for the biggest bet of your life, of your career, and the outcome of Green Bay Dallas is just going to flat out shock you. It's going to shock you. You're going to say, Stu, wow, way to come back, Stu. Wow, I'm glad that I paid you, Stu. Wow, Stu, you're the best there is. Let's score out. Let's rock and roll. From me, your source, Stu Viner.